What if I have this video and I want to swap the man inside it with this man? Well, now with a single click, I can do this and that too completely for free. You can replace anyone in any video with any other character that you want. But why just people? Even if I have a video like this and I want to replace the mock-up products with my own products, Again, with a single click, I can not only change the products, but change the background, yet retain the original movement in the video. You can even copy complex movements like dance moves and transfer them over to an edited image and it will copy those movements seamlessly. What if I have this video, but instead of just removing the green screen, I actually want to change the entire setup to something that looks more professional. Well, very, very easy to do you can basically edit an existing video in any way that you want. You, you can, can become, become anyone, anyone and completely for free. free. Let's, Let's see how, how to do this. this. To do this, you would need to use Vaughn 2.2, which is a fairly new model released around two months back. It is an avatar video generation model, but as you'll see from the examples that I'll be showing you, it does so much more than just creating avatars. The best part is you can use it completely for free and talking about free, it works very well with Nano Banana. So basically, all the examples that you will be seeing in this video, you will be able to replicate all of those without having to pay anything at all. Vaughn 2.2 competes with Runway Act 2 when it comes to its main feature, which is Photo Animate, which as the name suggests, will transfer over the gestures and movements from a driving video or an existing video over to a static image. But it also has the character swap feature, which allows you to swap any character or any object in an existing video, which is something we've not really seen in most of the other editors out there, except for probably in Runway Aleph. But the main difference is this, Runway Aleph and Runway Act 2 both can only be accessed on Runway's paid plans, whereas you can use Photo Animate and Character Swap completely for free. One 2.2 also has a feature which rivals HeyGen when it comes to creating avatars, which is speech to video, and we'll also be getting a look at that. So let's start off with our first example. So first of all, how do you access this tool? You will go to warn.video. I have given the link in the description. We'll also be using a lot of different images and videos and the link to download those is also in the description so that you can work along with me. But once you see this page, you will hit try now and then just create your account. Once you do create your account, this is the main interface. You will go to this option that says generate and right here at the bottom part, you just have to select in this menu where it says video, just make sure you select avatar and then you're going to see all the three features that i just talked about in the slide speech to video character swap and photo animate we're going to start off with our first example for a character swap but before that just a couple of important things right here on the right side next to your profile picture you're going to see the number of credits right now for me it shows 70 that's because i have actually purchased these credits the only difference is when you do have these credits with you it just makes the generations much faster but even if it shows a big zero here don't worry about it it's just that your generations are going to be slow but you can use this completely for free so let's see our first example here and for that we are going to switch over to the character swap feature and here we have to input two things. One is a target video, which is our original video, and then a character image. This is the person who will eventually become a part of that video and replace the original person in the video with. So for this example, our target video is this, and we want this man to come inside this video. So let's upload both these things right here. So the moment you upload the video, it's going to show you the minimum and the maximum limit. So it does cut the video off at 15 seconds. So just make sure you select the right part of that video or trim it down to that. And then I can just hit confirm. So in this case, I'm just going for the first 15 seconds. Now let me add the character image also. So finally, both these things are here and you can see right now it shows that it's going to cost me 20 credits, but that's just for a faster generation. So like I said, even if it's showing zero, you can click this. It's not disabled and you will be able to use it. Even if you do have paid credits, like the ones that I have here, but you still are okay with the slower generation and you don't want to consume the credit right now, you can just hit the settings option here. And you also get this option which says, you know, either generate with or without credits. So if I switch this off, so I can preserve those existing credits that I had purchased and still generate it at zero credits. It's just that it's going to be a bit slower. Since I've already done this, let me show you the result. 
All right, so our result is ready here. You can see the replacement looks amazing. Let's play these videos side by side so that you can see that even the movements and the lips, they move absolutely in a fantastic manner. The accuracy is amazing. And you're gonna realize that if your existing video already had audio, which in this example, it did not have, it'll still copy the audio also. So you'll see that in a later example. Now, one of the issues that you will be able to notice here is that it does take in the close from the context image. What if you don't want that and you only wanted to change the face of the person? Well, in that case, all you'll have to do is before you upload the context image, you'll have to change the clothes right there. So let's see our second example where we're gonna use Nano Banana to do that. So for our second example, this is our target video. Let's do the same thing with the same headshot, but we'll just have to undergo some editing. So what you will need, first of all, is a screenshot from the video so that that can serve as a reference image in order to transfer the clothes over to our original context image. So you need to take basically a screenshot from the video. Now, what if you don't have a video editing software and you don't know how to do this? Well, then you can use a free website like this. I'll leave a link to this website in the description. Let's upload our target video right here. And the moment you upload the video, it's gonna just take in a screenshot from that. You can even move this timeline to select a different screenshot if you want. But basically, once you're happy, you can just right click on this and just hit this option that says save video frame as, and then you'll have the screenshot with you. Once you do have that, you can go over to any platform that allows you to use Nano Banana. I'm using Google Whisk here. If you haven't seen my earlier video on how to use Google Whisk for Nano Banana, you can check this video out. I'll leave a link to this in the description simply because Google Whisk is undoubtedly the best way to use Nano Banana and it's completely free. So what I'm gonna do right now here is that I'm gonna just click on this option that says add images. And under the subject category, I'm gonna upload both the images, the screenshot as well as our original headshot. Once both the images are here, I'm gonna write in a simple prompt, which is make the man in the second image wear the clothes that the man in the first image is wearing. And then I can select an aspect ratio. So let's go for a square and just hit generate and let's wait for the results. All right, so you can see that now this person is wearing very similar clothes. The only thing is this part should have been black. So sometimes you'll just have to generate it a couple of times before you get the desired result. So after a few generations, this was the result that I got. Then I did exactly the same thing inside one as what I had shown you for the first example. So let's directly see the result with this edited image. All right, so our result is ready and you can see that this looks incredibly real, very, very seamless. So if you play these videos side by side, the only artifacts that you will notice here is sometimes if there are some complex movements in the background, for example, when you talk about the crowd here, you can notice some artifacts creeping in, but it's way, way better than Runway Aleph. Here's another example. And this time also, you'll just notice some issues when it comes to the complex movements that she's making. But my experience has been that as long as the face in your original video is very clear, the movements are not too complex, the background is simple enough, it just does a fantastic and sometimes even a flawless job at replacing the character. For the next example, let's look at a different feature, which is the photo animate feature. So first of all, if I go over here to avatar, I can just change from character swap to photo animate. And how this works is you upload something called as an action video. In this example, this is gonna be our action video. We wanna replace those mock-up products with our own products, yet retain the exact same movement and also change things like the background. So the main job here is creating what we call as a character image where we will make those changes. So again, just like before, we're gonna take a screenshot from our sample video which will look something like this. Now the main issue is how do we exactly edit this so that everything remains the same? It's just that we change the background and the products, but the pose remains exactly the same because if you were to just go over to Whisk and upload all these three images, the screenshot and the two products, and you write in something like, the woman is holding the products and the reference images, keep the pose and composition exactly the same. She is in a coffee shop. It's not always going to follow that. So you can see here some of the, exam uh, some of the results that I've got here. She's not holding it exactly in the same way as what we saw in the video. And, and the problem with that is 
this can cause a lot of artifacts because then there's going to be a mismatch between the gestures and the movements in the action video and the character image. So how do we do this more precisely? This is where annotations come into play. So right now I've done this on canva.com, but you can pretty much do this in any normal editing software, even in something like paint. But basically I uploaded the screenshot and then I've just used some of the tools that you get here to just upload these images of the products, just drawn arrows, and just use like text overlays to just say change the product again change the product because then we're almost telling nano banana to work locally and once i download this image and i went back to whisk this time i can upload this image with the annotations under the subject category and then again use a similar prompt like what i had written before but this time you'll see that the, that the results are much better and this is where one good thing about whisk is that at one point of time, you can quickly see six different results, which is not possible with the other Nano Banana platforms, especially the free ones. But you can see instantly, I clicked it three times and I've got three sets of results. So at least one of them is gonna be good. But you can see this time that we've just got everything exactly the way we want. It. The pose hasn't changed. There's a nice coffee shop behind her. It's exactly the same products that we had. So sometimes it's gonna be a hit and miss. For example, this time it didn't change the cup here. And that's why more variations are always better. This time it's just, it could not remove the annotations. That's gonna happen sometimes. But you can see, I think this result is probably the best one out of these, right? So I'm gonna take one of these shots, go back over to Vaughn, Upload this as the character image and the action video as the original video. All right, both these things are ready. I've already done this before, so let's see the result. You can see this looks absolutely amazing. Let's look at these side by side. That's exactly the same movement, but now we've got our own products. Let's see the next example. So one of the things we haven't seen up till now is how does it perform with audio and lip syncing? So our next two examples will demonstrate that. So first of all, we've got this video, which is from one of my promos for my online courses. And usually when I used to make videos like this, I would just remove the green screen in the editing software. But now with a tool like Wand 2.2, I can do so much more. So first of all, this video has got audio also, as you can see right here. And in this course, I will be teaching you now again, I followed exactly the same approach. I took a screenshot from this video. I went over to Google Whisk, and this time it was very straightforward. I just typed in a prompt which was change this over to a professional looking neon styled YouTube studio. And this was the result that I got. You can see Nano Banana is pretty good at keeping my face and my body, everything very, very consistent. And then I did exactly the same thing using the photo animate feature. So let me show you the result. All right, so this is the result and you can see that this looks good. Again, let's play them side by side. And in this course, I will be teaching you the art of green screen technology, also called as chroma keying. Now, usually when it comes to green screen video production, one of the biggest challenges that people face is the complexity involved. In and you can see that looked absolutely amazing. So I never have to invest in any kind of a studio with this tool at my disposal. I can literally put myself in any environment that I want. But in the next example, let's see something different. We'll keep the setup the same, but we'll change the person. So what if I have this particular video and let's say this time we actually wanna change her and we wanna turn her into Hulk. Now the problem here is Nano Banana is not gonna allow you to do it simply because of its censorship and policy issues when it comes to known figures. So you will have to do this inside C-Dream because C-Dream pretty much has no censorship. So I like to do this inside Higgsfield AI. Let me show you how. All right, so this is Hicksfield AI. Do note that you have to be on a paid plan in order to access C-Dream 4. C-Dream 4 cannot be accessed for free, but the cheapest way probably would be via Fall AI where you can just buy credits instead of going in for a monthly subscription like you have to do with all-in-one AI apps like Hicksfield. But the good part about Hicksfield is that if you do plan to become a member, you can use C-Dream 4 here on the unlimited mode, so it actually doesn't consume any credits. But where it comes really handy is in these situations where you have to bypass these censorship rules because it can generate anything at all, NSFW content, uncensored content, and it's great for that. So here again, on, for the reference image, I've taken one of the screenshots from that original video. The prompt is very simple. Turn her into Hulk, keep the pose the same. And you can see we start to get absolutely amazing images. And you can see. So I can then use one of these images as the character image 
And then let's see the result over at one. Yes. You, you can, can become, become anyone, anyone and completely for free. Let's, let's see, see how, how to, to do this. this. All right, so this is the result. And you can see that was amazing. You can always change the voice anytime using a software like Levin Labs AI. Let's look at the next example. Next, I wanted to just test out some of the more complex movements like maybe dance moves and see how the photo animate feature performs. So this was our original video. Took a screenshot, changed it over to her wearing a shiny and glamorous dress on a stage when the spotlight is on her. Again, via Nano Banana Inside Whisk. And this was the final result. And you can see it does really well on these sort of movements also. Before I move on to the next example, just wanted to show you that you can actually do something similar even with the character swap feature that we had seen before. So I had used the same video. Only thing is that for the image, I had used the headshot of this man. And this was the result. You can become anyone and completely for free. Let's see how to do this. So you can see, first of all, it does take the audio into account, which is great. The lip syncing is good. However, with the character swap feature, like I'd mentioned before, if things are too complex in your original video, sometimes these artifacts can come in because clearly you can see here, the mic that was supposed to be in front of him is no longer there. So if you want full control in these situations, the photo animate option, even though it requires that extra step of creating that image, usually works better. Let's also quickly see the last feature, which is the speech to video. This is the traditional way of making avatars that we're used to, that you upload your audio, and it's just gonna basically transfer it over right here by lip syncing it on your character image. So for this example, we've got this image. I've just recorded a sample audio, so let me upload both of these right here. And just like is the case with the video, the moment you upload the audio, again, the limit is 15 seconds. So I'm inside it with 12 seconds, and let's see the result here. All right, so our result is ready and let this guy himself tell you what the problem with this is. This has been made using the speech to video feature inside Vaughn and it's not too convincing simply because there's no way to ask it to create any sort of a movement in the video and therefore everything just looks too static. Because now if you look at the result from its competitor, in this case, Heijin Avatar 4 model, this was the result that Heijin gave out. So this is the test for Heijin AI Avatar 4. What do you think about this? One great thing about Heijin is especially its Avatar 4 model is that, the, and the reason it looks much better is because in Heijin, you can specify things like the movement and all, and it just makes it look more realistic. The Avatar 4 model of Heijin is on another level when it comes to speech to video. I have covered that inside this video, so you can check it out. I'll leave the link to this also in the description. Now let's also talk talk about the paid options here because yes, you can use it for free, but what if you do want those faster generations? It's actually very affordable. So if I just hit this little option here and I select this option which says become a member, you'll see that yes, we've got the free plan, but even the pro plan is actually extremely, extremely affordable. So if I go for build monthly, it's only six and a half dollars a month and you get 300 credits. Not just that, the best part about this is you don't have to tie yourself to a monthly subscription. If you're okay with just paying for credits, you can get it from as low as $1.5 for 30 credits. So extremely, extremely flexible. Also, since we've talked about a lot of good things that one 2.2 can do, let's also look at some of the cons. So one of the issues was the 15 second limit that you saw. And in my opinion, even if it's up to 30 seconds, that can dramatically improve the amount of use cases. The slower generations are a problem on the free plan, especially when it comes to the character swap feature, because there sometimes you might just have to wait uh, for 20 to even 30 minutes for the video to come out. There are artifacts in complex situations, again, mainly in the character swap feature, because that tends to produce artifacts whenever you have a lot of stuff going on in the backgrounds, or if your subject is making a lot of different movements. And of course, the resolution right now is capped at high definition, and if this can be full HD, then nothing like it, because right now it'll be a great fit for social media, but when it comes to professionally using it, you will definitely need a separate upscaler. So there you go, this is Vaughn 2.2, a special video model, because here you also get what you don't pay for. In case this video helped you out, do give it a like, and for more AI tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time.